Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Oh boy do I have some news for you today. This is coming straight from Kevin MCX, one of the designers at Mega Constructs themselves. I didn't think we'd get information this soon after the preview of the fall 2022 lineup, but we've already got a look at the new ODST backpack and Jager Adumni the Blade Master. Just, ah, this, this looks incredible. Like, I'm so blown away by this. I'm really happy to share all this information with you today and it also comes from the Mega Unboxed website. This is Mega's own social media built from the ground up and you can create an account and then interact with the community on here. Kevin always likes to share behind the scenes projects. He's done it for years and I think he's particularly interested in the He-Man Masters of the Universe line. He always loves sharing those. You can even find set reveals for the first time on this website so I would highly recommend you checking it out. The last big thing he shared was the Haunted Helmet prototype which we've now seen the full image of and looks phenomenal, but I really enjoyed seeing this one back in the day. Kevin, if you're watching this, I would really like to find out what's in those tubs behind the figures. But yeah, the first one we have is the test shot prototype for the new ODST backpack. Fans had questions about the upcoming ODST Hive Exterminator set. We recently reviewed mold test shots from the factory, so here is a closer look for the new ODST backpack. This set will include three of the new backpacks to equip your ODST figures for their missions. Very very, very exciting here. This is the new ODST Hive Exterminator set, dropping in fall of 2022, includes two drones and four ODSTs and is based on the live action short We Are ODST and includes the figure here, Tarkov, which is an exclusive new named character. We can see the backpack, the nice radio comms backpack on this blue ODST, but Kevin did say that there was going to be a new mold, not for the ODST helmets, but a new mold for the backpack, which is an iconic piece of Halo 3 ODST, so I'm really excited to see it. We've got the first production mold of this right now, and it looks pretty dang spot on. Look at this thing. Ah, oh, it's glorious. And it very closely matches all of the in-game material and cosplay material that people have been, you know, designing this out of foam for many years. So it's really dope to see it in Mega Constructs form. It's not something I thought we needed, but now I'm looking at it. Oh yeah, I'm definitely ready for it. And the other piece of news Kevin shared is very exciting indeed. Fans had questions about the upcoming Jager Adumni micro action figure. We recently received mold test shots from the factory. So here is a closer look at the new figure. The Blade Master features a newly sculpted head, helmet, chest armor, thigh armor, and left forearm. His blade is molded into his arm and will be a clear red plastic. The elbow is fully articulated. Damn, man, that is so much new armor. A head, helmet, chest armor, thigh armor, and left forearm? Like, come on, we're being spoiled. And Jager Adomni does drop in the new Banished Phantom, again in fall of 2022, which at this point, I don't even feel like is very far away. They've already got the production molds going. It comes with a really dope alt build in particular. While the main build is a little blocky, it does come with a really great alt build and the named character Spartan Griffin alongside a brute captain and a red gummy Eshram, which really makes sense. He's been a projection in so much of the game. And then Jago Radomni. Look at all of that new armor, especially like even those leg pieces look so good. So here is the production mold, the head with removable piece. We've got the main blade there along with the chest and the head with the two pieces attached together. So this is, you know, two heads. You're not gonna get both of these in one set. It's showing the two ways you can attach the head and just really great to see that that head, that elite head has armor attached to it. That makes the armor way less uh, clunky and standout-ish. Like it's way more integrated into the neck. It looks way more realistic. And then you attach that extra Jager or Adomni piece on top. I wonder if this elite head is now going to be used as a staple or it's just for Jager or maybe it's just for special characters, like more Blade Masters, more Silent Shadow members. And then we've got all of the armor here. We can see all of these new pieces. The fact that we have a new chest and legs means that probably a lot of Mega's budget this year in terms of new pieces went to this figure. Mega have gone on record many times saying they have a very specific sort of tight budget on how many new pieces they can introduce on the figure and on vehicles. This is clearly like a lot of that budget, right? But I think it's totally worth it. Jager is such a unique character. You can't just borrow 
borrow pieces from other sets, like you have to build it from the ground up. The fact that that arm can actually be clipped onto other elite arms as well leads to some really great customization. Like, I'm so excited. Kevin gave some further insights into the figure. First of all, because of the armored mandibles and the neck armor on the head sculpt, some other elite helmets may not be compatible. Second, the factory uses whatever resin color is available in the injection molding machine at the time of the test. The colors that the test shot samples arrive in are always a surprise. And lastly, the forearm will be molded in clear red plastic. The silver will be painted over. Very, very cool. I just love the transparency with Mega and the community right now. And they have given us two beautiful looks into the figures and the new molding of the fall 2022 wave. As mentioned by Tom Jurassic, I would love to see an upcoming prototype of the Lord Hood. That would be really exciting. Maybe the new Cortana in the elephant. I would also love to see a behind the scenes of the new ghost as well. But other than that, we've not got that many more molds coming in the fall. Clearly a lot of the budget has gone to the backpack and those Jager Adomni pieces. So let me know in the comments down below, are you satisfied with what you see? Is this where you would have put the budgeting for the new molded pieces for this year? And how many Jager Adomnis is enough? I want as many as possible. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. Thank you very much for tuning in today. And if you did enjoy this video, please do make sure to like and subscribe and stick it with the domain for all your Halo Mega Constructs news.